The axolotl, once worshipped by the Aztecs, is famous for its incredible ability to regenerate itself and for never growing up. It stays in its juvenile form and is able to regrow limbs, organs, even its brain. But this legendary salamander is now critically endangered. Its last refuge lies in one of Latin America's busiest capitals, Mexico City. These animals can only be found in Xochimilco, a maze of canals on the outskirts of the city that is all that remains of the wetlands that the capital was built on. Xochimilco is highly important for axolotls because it's the only habitat that they have. En la época prehispánica eran cinco grandes lagos. Eh, al día de hoy solamente nos quedan pequeños remanentes de esos grandes lagos. But this once thriving ecosystem, home to a whole host of native species, is under threat from urbanization, pollution, and climate change, as the region struggles with droughts and intense heat waves. You have to conserve the North Pole in order to have polar bears. You have to conserve Xochimilco in order to have axolotls. Little by little, Xochimilco is being paved over. Cada vez más, los barrios que están pegados a la natural protegida van hacia adentro, entonces se va urbanizando. Eso provoca que, por supuesto, haya descargas de agua que no son legales y eso, a su vez, eh, provoca la contaminación del agua. Axolotls breed through the skin and through the gills, so a small change in water quality can kill them. But it's not only the axolotl's habitat that is in danger. Wetlands like Xochimilco are crucial to 40% of the world's wildlife. They also have a cooling effect on nearby cities. But they are disappearing three times faster than our forests, leaving us more vulnerable to a changing climate and linking the axolotl's future with the health of Mexico's people. If we destroy the axolotl, it means that we destroy Xochimilco. And if we destroy Xochimilco, the temperature of Mexico City will increase by two degrees. You can imagine then the heat waves will be something like 45, 50 degrees in Mexico City. All these problems that we are facing at this moment uh, make me feel sad, basically. However, the good news is that we know what to do. To help restore this precious ecosystem, Luis and his team are supporting chinamperos, organic farmers who have been growing food on floating gardens for more than 700 years. My father, my abuelo, my bisabuelo, my tatarabuelo were chinamperos. Somos como estos pequeños guardianes que van como tratando de cuidar el espacio. By using the nutrient-rich soil of the lake to grow a mosaic of plants, the chinamperos create a self-sustaining system resilient to pests and diseases. This indigenous farming technique is considered one of the most productive in the world. Es una simbiosis entre el agua y entre la tierra, ¿no? No puede haber eh, una chinampa sana sin eh, sin un cuerpo de agua sano y no puede haber un cuerpo de agua sano sin una chinampa sana. As the chinampas grow, they become a refuge for wildlife including the axolotl. Now that we know that axolotls can survive very well around the chinampas, if we create a refuge to increase the water quality, then you will have a canal in which the habitat can regrow by itself. But that's not all. These floating farms could also help feed a growing population. Lo que entendemos es como a mayor densidad de chinampas productivas, mayor seguridad alimentar para la Ciudad de México. Creo que la chinampería nos permite a nosotros como ciudadanos fomentar más el tema de la seguridad y la soberanía alimentaria. Porque justamente el hecho de que tú sepas de dónde viene el producto, quién lo produjo y cómo lo produjo, te permite a ti como consumidor tomar decisiones. Piensan que todavía somos románticos, que nos aferramos a un pasado. Pero lejos de aferrarnos más a un pasado, creo que eh, hay que aprovechar todas las bondades que nos brinda este sistema. O sea, no solamente es historia, sino también es presente. Eh, la base fundamental de la humanidad pues, son, es la alimentación. The hope is that one day both local communities and wildlife will benefit as Xochimilco flourishes, but it is a race against time. We have no more than 10 years to produce 400, 500 chinampas. If we achieve to those numbers, then maybe axolotls can be saved. 
necesitamos de la ayuda de todos, de todos, de todo lo que está allá afuera para que esto se conserve. ¿no? Gritándole al mundo, todavía estamos vivos, todavía queremos vivir. Even though the fate of Xochimilco hangs in the balance, every sighting of an axolotl suggests that Mexico City's last wetland could still be saved. El ajolote tiene la capacidad de esconderse, de camuflajearse. Si tú lo buscas, pueden pasar meses sin ver uno, pero de repente te encuentras uno y es como renace la esperanza, ¿no? Dices, todavía hay, todavía hay esperanza. Thank you.